Okay, so we're halfway through the week. Tomorrow is Thursday, and as you guys know, normally is our active recovery day or well, cardio days. All right. So um, we're going to do a longer workout with a nice uh, cardio piece in the middle, a descending ladder, cardio ascending ladder. All right. So we're going to start with a warm up. We're going to do our running warm up because we have running. Um, so as you guys know, normally we walk up and down the gym and we do the stretch, uh, these stretches together. And I'm just going to show them to you, and you do ten reps. Of each five on each leg. All right. So the first first one is walking knee hugs. Okay, you can do five per leg, ten total. Next one is the glute stretch, figure four. All right. Then we've got quad stretch. All right. Then we've got changing the chicken. All right. And then we've got Walking lunges, stretch over here, stretch, okay, and then back, we've got walking lunges again, but now with a twist, right, so you twist towards the leg in the front, right, you'll hear a nice click in your back, okay, then we've got Cossack squats, okay, so nice and wide, half the leg, Okay, then we've got hamstring kicks. Okay, so kick as high as you can. So legs straight. Okay, guys, then you can just run up and down a bit. Okay, um, start with a 10 meter run, then a 10 meter run back, and just pick up the pace a little bit. Do a bit of butt kicks and high knees. Okay, just get the body warm and the blood flowing. All right, guys, so your workout for tomorrow. Okay, it's 30, 20, 10. Then you've got a cardio piece, and then 10, 20, 30. All right. The movements for the 30 reps is going to be um, 30 kettlebell swings. Okay, so kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings or odd object ground to overhead. Okay, so here's a dumbbell. I'll hold it on the head, through the legs, and up. Okay, all the way up. You guys know how a kettlebell swing looks. And if you have an odd object like a ball or a bag or anything odd, We'll just go from the ground, overhead, overhead, alright. If you've got a ball, you can do slam balls. If you've got a bag, hold on to the bag, okay. Don't drop it on the floor, okay. Then you've got 20 air squat jumps over the dumbbell, okay. So you're going to take your object, your object, whatever it is, dumbbell or kettlebell or you can use a barbell, okay. You're going to do an air squat, and as you jump up, you're going to jump over the kettlebell, over uh, the object. All right, so squat, jump, land. If you want to, you can do this continuously, okay? Squat, jump, squat, jump. All right, it's just 20 reps of that, okay? Then we've got 10 reverse burpees. As you guys know, standing tall, rolling onto your back, touching the floor, coming up, and flat. All right. 10 reps of that. Then our cardio is going to be an 800 meter run. If you have the ability to go out and do a run, if not, you're going to do 60 10 meter shuttle runs. So basically, it's 600 meters of running, but because you're turning around and stepping off of the leg, we make it 600 meters instead of 800 meters. Okay, so a 10 meter shuttle, or you're going to do 300 double unders if you don't have the ability to run even on the shuttles, or 500 singles. Okay, so that's the cardio piece in the middle, and then you'll do 10 reverse burpees, 20 squat jumps over the dumbbell, over your barbell or odd object, and then you'll do 30 dumbbell swings, kettlebell swings, whatever swings. Alright, then we've got mobility as well, okay, because it's active recovery day. So I'm just going to show you guys the stretches for the mobility. Okay, so first we're going to do upper body, we're going to start with a puppy pose. Alright, so hand about shoulder width. Elbows locked out, and you're just going to get your chest as low as you can to the floor. Okay. Deep breath in. Every time you breathe out, get low to the floor. Okay. You'll feel the, the stretch in your upper uh, and middle back. All right. And the shoulders. Okay. The next one we're going to do is wrist stretches. So in this position, you guys know the wrist stretch we do. Hold that for 30 seconds. And you'll turn around and you hold a 
remember, extending rotate your shoulders, your elbows. Okay, you hold that for 30 seconds. Okay, then the next one is shoulder to floor. So again, in this position, you're going to put your hands diagonal. All right, so at a 45 degree, and then you're going to Try and bring your chest, your shoulder to the floor. You'll feel that stretching nice in the chest over there. Okay, so you guys can do 30 to 60 seconds on one arm and then 30 to 60 seconds on the other arm. All right, you can go longer, guys. If this feels if you enjoy the stretch, you can go longer. All right, okay. Next, we've got the count stretch. So, against the wall, I'm just gonna imagine this is my wall, foot goes against the wall. On the knee, stretch over here, okay? 30 second stretch, then you'll go forward, 30 second stretch over there. Hey Sammy, what you doing here? Alright, you're gonna swap legs. Okay, next, we've got the pigeon, alright? Leg, try and get that foot in line with your chest, alright? And you'll feel the stretch in the glute, okay? As you get more subtle in this in this position, more comfortable, you try and get lower. All right, and that's a good stretch. Okay, so let's do 60 seconds per leg. Then we've got the butterfly. All right, there. Bottom of the feet against each other. Pull your legs up as high as you can. Get your hands under your toes. Interlock them. All right, from here. You straighten your back. Okay, so push your chest out and bring your shoulder blades together and push your knees down. All right, so squeeze your glutes, push your knees down, and you feel a stretch in your upper back and your groin. All right, mostly your groin. Keep that for 60 seconds. Then we've got the pike. All right, so guys, this is basically you're feeling the shoulders as well, but you must try and keep your heels on the floor. Okay. So I'm going to try and keep my heels on the floor and I'm going to push back as far as I can. Now as you guys can see, my back's slightly rounded. We don't want that. We want our back to be straight. So you must uh, tilt your pelvis anteriorly. Then you'll feel that stretch in the hands. I immediately felt my hamstrings and my calves stretch over there. Okay, so not rounded back. Okay, not a hollow position. The opposite of a hollow position. Like that. Alright, so that's your bike stretch, 60 second hold. Then we've got the straddle. Get your feet as wide as you can. Okay. Keep your back nice and straight, and then you lean forward. You can hold, you can grab onto something to pull yourself more. Okay, but it's important that you try and keep your back as straight as possible. Don't round like that. Okay, see, it's very easy for me. I'm not really feeling any stretch over there. Straight back and down, okay. And then the last one is a kneeling split. So you'll go into your knees, try and get your legs as wide as you can, feet externally rotated. Guys, if this uh, pain gives you pain in your knees, all right, on the inside of your knees, you don't have to put your feet like this. You can put your feet like that, all right. I've got pain on my left knee in this position, so I'll, I won't do that. I'll just go as wide as I can and back and this is your last stretch for today so you can spend some time over here you'll feel it's very very nice on the hips so you can go for one to two minutes in this stretch all right okay guys and that is your recovery thursday hope you guys enjoyed and recover up for friday and saturday because we're going to go hard enjoy